is in action yes, sir. and not just about words. <laughs> oh, the biblical Greek word uh, uh, for, for love, there's a few meanings. One is story love or philea love or eros and there's one called agape love. Oh, somebody ought to hear this. So each of these words has a distinctive meaning. Story, for example, is the love between family members. Oh, somebody say amen. amen. I love my brothers. I love my sisters. I love my aunties. I love my uncles. I love my nieces. All right. Even though they drive me crazy. Oh, help me, Jesus. You know, but, but I love them anyway. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If you can't say amen, say ouch. And get delivered today. Amen. Oh, and then Fila, Fila love is a friendship between kindred spirits. And Eros, which is not even found in the New Testament, is sexual desire. Oh, I know, I know I'm hitting home now. Hey, this is where we get the word, the English word, erotic. Well, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Go ahead, preacher. You may not be the little kid, but somebody know what I'm talking about. Agape is godly love or unconditional love. As one person puts it, eros is all take, phila is give and take, and agape is all give. Go ahead now. I don't know about you, but, but I want to be a proponent of agape love. I just want to give because God so loved me that he gave his only begotten son, and his son loved me so much that he gave his life and stayed in a buried uh, tomb uh, but rose on the third day with all power in his hand because he had agape love. Agape unconditional. Yes, See, so many of us want to love somebody if they love me. Uh, you know, if you love me, I love you. <laughs> it, it don't work like that. See, if you're a child of God, you love in spite of. I don't care about your shortcomings. I don't care about your bad attitude. I don't care about what you say or what you think. I love you because you are a child of God. Amen. God made you, and if God made you, he didn't make no junk. Am I right about it? Um, some people get wrapped up and tied up in the spiritual things of this world and therefore make them a bad person or they make bad decisions in life because they get caught up with the wrong spirit. But God didn't mean for you to fail. God meant for you to be more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. So therefore, all you have to do is pray for somebody. If you see somebody down, don't look down on them. The only time you look down is to give a hand to get them up. Am I right about it? Or well, somebody in there need to know what I'm talking about. Am I preaching to the choir? Am I preaching to the preacher? Am I preaching to the pews? Am I preaching to the lights? Somebody in here need to say amen. Somebody ought to say thank you, Lord. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he woke me up this morning. I'm so glad that he gave me breath. I'm so glad. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. See, 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 with this agape love, well, you know, the sacrifice of love has to be important. You got to be a sacrificer. Look at verse 9 as I, as, I, as I hurry on down the way. It says, it says in here, in this was manifest that God, that the love of God toward us, because God sent his only begotten son into this world that we might live through him. And then it says in verse 11, Beloved, if God so loved us, we are ought to love one another. And verse 12, No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfect in us. Yeah. So what am I saying? I'm saying that you got to have a spirit of sacrifice if you got God's love. Amen. You can't say that you love God and you ain't willing to make no sacrifices. Preacher, the preacher, preacher. When, 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 you see me, when you see me pause in the middle of a sermon, what I'm doing is I'm letting that sink in. But that, that's a gold nugget. You, you understand what I'm saying? That, that, that's something that I don't want to just let pass by. Yes, I want that to empty into your spirit. Yes, sir. I, I want you to grab and gravitate to that. Because 
if you are a child of God, a true child of God, then you got to understand that part of what you do, you have to be a person that sacrifices. You got to be the one to go the extra mile of the way. When you fall out or with somebody in your family, you as a Christian got to be the one to go and say, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm not the one that, I'm not the one that did it. I'm not the one that perpetrated this. But as a Christian, your responsibility, my brothers and my sisters, is to go to that person and to seek their, 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 their to make that difference and it's okay. Am I right about it? I don't care what they said, I don't care what they did, I don't care how bad they treated you, it's your responsibility. Because after all, God looked at you one day. After all, God saw you, and you were not perfect. And if there's any perfect people in the house, I want you to stand and raise your hand. No, I didn't think so. Because all of us are sinners, and all of us fall short of the glory of God. I like young people, because young people call people down my way, shorty, shorty this, shorty that. You know, and I say, well, what's this shorty thing going on? But, but, but when I look at it, I see a real meaning, because we all fall short of the glory of God. So you can look to your neighbor and say, shorty. Hallelujah. You ain't nothing but a shorty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you fall short of the glory of God. You're not a perfect person. You're not a, a A1 person. You are God's anointed and God's appointed. You belong to God, but you're not perfect. Anybody perfect in here? Oh, my God. Somebody say, he's preaching to me. He's preaching to me. Hallelujah. I feel my help coming on. I ain't going to be much longer. God, God is in those who he loves. God is in those who he loves. See, you can't say you ain't God and don't have love. Somebody say amen. amen. Because you're telling a lie and the truth ain't in you. If you don't have no love, you don't know God. That is so cold, preacher. That is so cold, man. You, 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 you're so cold, preacher. Why are you cold like that? You know, all preachers used to tell you that if you don't get right, you're going to hell. You see, folk, folk, I remember when I came up, I used to be scared in the church. I'm like the young people, scared. You scared? Say you scared. I was scared in the church. But the preacher said, if you don't get right, you're going to hell. I was like, oh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some things about that. You know, it's, it's fire down there in hell. I, I ain't want nothing hot. I don't know about y'all. Amen. You know, I ain't going down there. You know, I preached a sermon one time and said, what in the hell do you want? Ooh. I hear that preacher. Some people live like they want something in hell. I ain't trying to go to hell. Hey, anybody in here? Somebody, somebody raise your hand. You planning on going to hell, raise your hand. Uh, oh. All right. I thought I could get somebody to follow me on that, but you didn't want to follow me. Amen. Pray. How many want to go to heaven? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Go, give God a hand clap praise now. Hallelujah. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me get down to the important part about this because somebody want to know what love got to do with it. See, God is love. And I heard that there was an English teacher one time that said, you know, there's an algebraic equation in the Bible. It's an algebraic equation. So yeah, it's in 1 John 4 and 16. It says that, you know, if you look at algebra, it says that X is equal to Y, which means that in this statement, there's equality. It means that you flip the script around that Y is equal to X. Like X is equal to Y. I hear you preaching. Y'all with me? So in John 4 and 16, we look at Jesus is love, or God is love. So if you flip the script, love is God. It's an algebraic expression. Don't, don't, don't miss that teaching. Hallelujah. Don't go out here the way you came in. Because after all, when you come to church, you ought to learn something. Am I right about it? Or you can go out and say, man, oh, 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 oh Lester's, Lester's father came in, and that boy just preached, and he preached, and he preached, and you don't know what I preached about. What, what good is that? What good is that if I haven't empowered you? What good is that if you ain't paying attention? What good is it if you're not getting something out of it? So at least get the algebraic expression, you know, that God is love and love is God. And you can't have one without the other. You got to have it both. So love and what kind of love we're talking about? We're talking about agape love, which is unconditional. Means that it's the love that we do in spite of what people do to us. We still go to extra. 
just a mile of the way we still give 